right, thank you, Alex. Another issue we've been following is domestic violence. And if you haven't heard about a recent case from this past weekend yet, it's a dramatic example of how relationships can sometimes go horribly wrong. A pregnant woman is dead. Her boyfriend behind bars accused of murdering her and cutting their baby from her womb who also died. On Friday night, we first told you about Katrina Rivera who was nine months and reported missing. Her absence described as suspicious. The sheriff's office reported that then that she was last seen at her home Thursday with her boyfriend Manuel Vela. At the time, the department released the description of Rivera's vehicle and the license plate number. Then Saturday, sheriff's deputies followed up on a reported sighting of Vela and say he led deputies on a pursuit, reportedly hitting multiple cars along the way and attempting to hit a CHP officer. Juan Gaten sent us this cell phone video he captured of the chase while another witness described what he saw. As they started getting closer, I see a car on the, others, uh, on the other side of the road and he's going the wrong way. And he's going like 20 miles an hour maybe. I, I'm not sure, he's going pretty slow. And, but he was just going the wrong way, going up this way. And I was just like, what the heck's going on? That, that's crazy. Deputies stopped the Hyundai at Mount Vernon Avenue and Flower Street and say they discovered Katrina Rivera's body inside. They say Vela ran from the vehicle with the baby in his arms. Sheriff's officials say he then left the baby and continued running and was eventually taken into custody. Manuel Vela showed little emotion as he offered gruesome details of the killing during a jailhouse interview. 17's Kristen Price spoke with Vela behind bars and joins us with what he says happened. Sabatha, by the time law enforcement put out a missing person alert for Katrina Rivera Friday night, Manuel Vela says it was already too late. We want to warn you some of what he said in this interview was chilling and disturbing. 28-year-old Manuel Vela told me he killed Katrina Rivera Thursday on the front porch of their home on Fairfax Road. I socked her and I choked her. Rivera was nine months pregnant with Villa's baby boy. I understood, yes, that I was going to kill her. She understood that she had to die. Villa says he put her body in the backseat of her car and drove around for six or seven hours before pulling over on Edison Highway. And then that's why I uh, stood for a little bit. And that's why I cut her open. He says he used a razor blade to cut the baby out of his dead girlfriend's body. Because I didn't kill the baby. I breathed in him. I, you know, I had some personal time with the little relationship. Oh, my firstborn son. Look just like me, you know. Hold him, pat him. Multiple times through our conversation, Vela spoke of the father, the prophecy, and his mission for Satan. Do you think that you're possessed by the devil? Me? Yeah. I'm the Antichrist. He says he carried out this act for his God, who told him what to do. But I just respected the plan and authority of the father, so. Villa has a lengthy criminal record, including a history of domestic violence. He has been convicted in three spousal abuse cases since 2009, and as recently as June of this year. Court records show Katrina Rivera filed a restraining order against Villa twice, citing domestic violence. One case was filed in 2010, the other in 2011. Still, family members say they didn't see this coming. Me and her, we talked about our kids and, and stuff like that. We never really discussed. We knew, I knew certain things, but it wasn't, I mean, it wouldn't be anything I would even share. CEO of the Alliance Against Family Violence and Sexual Assault, Louis Gill, spoke this morning on 17 News at Sunrise about what you can do if you suspect someone is a victim of domestic violence. Domestic violence can move to fatality and it's a horrible thing so if you see a friend that you feel is being isolated that they're living in a situation where they are not sure where they seem to have changed in demeanor please ask the question are you okay Manuel Villa was booked on two first-degree murder charges and a slew of other felonies he's being held without bail and is due in court tomorrow if you would like to see his entire jailhouse interview visit our website kerngoldenempire.com Kristen Price, 17 News. Kristen, thank you. If you or someone you know is in a domestic violence situation and it's an emergency, call 911. You can also call any of the numbers on your screen, including the Alliance Against Family Violence and Sexual Assault's 24-hour crisis line. That's 327-1091. The National Domestic Violence Hotline is 1-800-799-SAFE.